What's up guys, DJ Kafu here, and this is the first episode of my Queen's Park Rangers Football Manager playthrough. Now I've chosen Queen's Park Rangers because I've got the LFC Marshall transfer update, which will include Digiro Cisse, Bobby Zamora, Tay Taiwo, Neda Manua, and others. And I think this makes QPR squad very good compared to a lot of other, te other teams with lower reputations in the Premier League. As the, also the board don't expect much of me, but they give me a great good financial backing for the small amount of expectations they have for me. As you can see, it was only a top half finish. You give me 17 million and 800k wage budget, which is pretty good for a team that really should only be avoiding relegation. Now I'll take you through my transfers. The first transfer I made was Matt, Matt Jarvis from Wolves, as I needed a left winger. And his stats are pretty good, he's got decent pace, he's got good dribbling, he can cross the ball in. And I got him for a 7.25 million, and that was in cash, no 48 months. And he had a good, decent pre-season, 5 appearances, 2 goals, 3 assists, man of the match, average match rate in a 7.68. He played really well. My second signing was Ashley Williams from Swansea City. And uh, so I needed a centre-back, as we were kind of lacking there, with Danny Gabidon and Anton Ferdinand. So I got Ashley Williams for some, uh, Swansea sorry, for 4 million. He's got very good stats, decent heading, market tackling all around. He's got a bit of pace as well, you can keep up with it. He had an alright pre-season, he only played 3 games as I got him later. He scored a goal, average match rate in 7.63, so yeah, not that bad. I also got another centre back, James Tompkins from West Ham, for only 3 million, which is actually quite good, as yeah, he's quite young. These stats will develop, they're already decent as they are. He's got pace, you know, decent tackling, marking, heading. What you need for a centre back. Played four games, scored a goal, 7.8 average match rating. And my final signing, and probably my favourite signing, was Joe Allen, also from Swansea City. 15 million, but that is a lot of that, all of that, in fact, is over uh, 48 months. I needed a centre mid as I am a foul and just wasn't cutting it. Joey Barton's good, but I needed a Another one, he's got passing 15, which is great. He's got alright creativity and everything. He can, he can do the defensive work as well. And he's got actually great pace, 16 acceleration, 14 pace. He only played one preseason game, and that was on the bench, I think, because I got him not long ago. He's, got all, he's all around a very good player. And I'm looking forward to seeing how he'll do in the season. And this is the transfer history of the full transfer window, showing all the prices, etc. Spent just under 30 million on all the players. And I sold and got rid of quite a few. Got rid of Danny Gavidan, uh, got him on a f left him on a free. Sean Derry to Derby, 500k. Tommy Smith also to Derby, 500k. Peter Ramage, 500k. Let Heide Helgeson go on a free transfer. And Akos Pazaki on a free transfer. Got a total of 1.5 million. From the transfers, which wasn't much, but I didn't feel that we needed to get rid of many players. Got a nice big squad and got some backups and some first team players from here. And I think we're set for the next game. I'll take you through the pre season results. First game in pre season was against Hibernian, and we won that game 3 2. It wasn't the best of performances from us. Had decent possession and shots on target, but Watching it myself, we didn't play that well. But they are they have Leigh Griffiths, which is actually a brilliant wonder kid player. It's a pity that he's on loan there. As I would have liked to pick him up for myself. Adel Tarat scored for us a penalty. Hogan, Ifrem, and Sean Phillips, all late goals. You see. I mean we're losing one nil at one point. Our second preseason game was a lot better in terms of the score line, but wasn't really a clinical performance as we had 24 shots on target, 67% possession, but only 9 on target. Sorry. Um, Bobby Zamora picked up 2 goals, Matt Jarvis picked up 2 goals. Actually, Stanley didn't score any. And they, their keeper played really well, actually. The next game was against Crystal Palace, and we won 3 1. Federico Makeda on the score sheet and 2 Sean Mike Phillips goals. Sean Mike Phillips played brilliant in that game. He set up the Makeda goal. Kieran Kerrigan. For Crystal Palace scored a consolation. We then played Gateshead and won 6-0. But in the end, if we didn't win by such a huge margin, 
against a team like Gateshead, there'd obviously be a problem. DJ Campbell, his first game of preseason, scored. Cissé, two goals. Tarat, Hogan Ephraim, who's actually a very decent uh, kid from who was already there. Um, I'm going to probably be utilising him through the season. He's not got bad stats. And Ashley Williams at the end, and they didn't get a single goal. Now the final game of the preseason that I actually played myself. I let the assistant do the last one. Uh, we won 2-0 against West Ham United. Sean Phillips with two more goals. He was excellent in preseason, and it's probably the best performance we've had. Despite only being 2-0, we dominated the whole game, and Rob Green pulled off some amazing stops. The scoreline doesn't reflect the uh, dominance of it. Uh, this last game against Man United Reserves, I didn't play because I just thought it was a useless game against Man United Reserves. We won 2 0 anyway, and we almost made it through the whole preseason, getting off scot free with injuries. I'm on trial where I picked up an injury at the end. It was only off for two weeks. So, and we got Ty Taylor, who was the starting left back anyway. Uh, Sean Phillips and James Tompkins picked, up, picked us up the win there. And finally, the games I've highlighted right here are the games that are going to be going through next week, uh, next episode. Swansea, Wigan in the Premier League, both of them. Preston in the Carling Cup, and Bolton in the Premier League again. If you've liked this episode, then drop us a like, favourite, you know, tell your friends about it. Need as much publicity as we can. <laughs> Thanks. See you next time.